The grounds for sculpture is a very important thing because everyone deserves art and what it does for you, just like they deserve nature and what that does for you. A visceral experience, the individual experience of becoming one with art, it happens when a work speaks to you and, and hopefully you're not expecting it, it just hits you. Originally, this site was the New Jersey State Fairgrounds, dating back into the 1800s. So there's this long history of this site as a community gathering place. Utilia had a school here at the time. It was a really exciting atmosphere. Everybody, they're all, people are all artists. They all wanted to make stuff. And there was a facility that was flexible enough that everybody could do things. Grounds for Sculpture actually grew out of the Johnson Atelier, so it's always had a direct link to sculptors and to their work. The idea started getting kicked around by Seward and Herc Van Tongren and Isaac Witkin about creating a place to display sculpture here. They'd say, you know, if we could make it look a little nicer, then uh, attract new artists. And believe me, it didn't look like a park by any means. When I got here, I was just sort of in shock. The place was completely overgrown. Buildings had many of their windows broken. We got rid of a lot of garbage. We mowed the lawns. So it was a big job just sort of getting it under control at that point. Almost immediately we decided it would be uh, an arboretum besides being a sculpture park. One of the focuses of the landscape was to see what we could get that was going to be destroyed if we didn't use it. Bruce and I spent a lot of time driving around looking for material. But as a result of that, we got a lot of great stuff. It was a natural place for me to develop my work. Because I had so many friends who were sculptors, it was a natural place to get their work. And a lot of them were working at the atelier. It all seemed to go together in the development of the park. When we first started, Brooke Barry was in charge of the art had a fabulous sensibility. And she went from the atelier to being the artistic director of Grounds for Sculpture. But Grounds for Sculpture didn't exist at the time. The code name was Corporate Sculpture Park. Seward said, come up with a better name or it's gonna be called <laughs> Sculpture Park. And we worked like crazy. Uh, and Bruce went, Grounds for Sculpture, and I was like, there it is. The three of us would meet with Seward periodically and talk about ideas for the park. Brian would show drawings and plans. Seward would give us feedback. Herc would give us feedback. Brooke probably taught me everything that I know about citing sculpture and the landscape. We were all pretty much up for anything. What a fabulous personality. She was a tremendous amount of fun and smart and really open to things. A lot of good work came out of it. Our first exhibition was scheduled uh, for the spring of 1992. It was a small show, all outdoors, because we had no indoor exhibition space at that point. And about 15 sculptures all together, maybe 50 people showed up. A tiny fraction of what it's like at an opening uh, these days. Grounds for Sculpture is to make art as approachable as possible. I think that this type of thing is so valuable to so many people it's so precious, and to share it, it's so rewarding to me. There are just so many experiences to be had. It, that's what makes life rich. When we started, there, there was no really extensive master plan. Mostly it evolved over time. It's sort of exciting for me all these years later to have been involved in, in creating another different kind of community gathering place. I have to admit that once in a while I'll be out here by myself and just sort of be amazed by what we've done. That it really has turned out to be a pretty spectacular garden. We managed to do something almost on the sly, I feel. It was like if people had been paying attention, they wouldn't have let us do this place. And it's a lot of things to a lot of people, and that I think was one of the 
intentions that we managed to provide was just opportunities. You can come here for a lot of reasons, or you can come here for no reason at all. Just it's a nice place to hang out. It was very sloppy. In that way, it was wondrous. It was a whole series of very lucky happenings. It made the the whole thing develop in a most unusual, contorted way. It was like self-propelling. Only when something had to happen, it happened then. All of these things evolved in the craziest way. I don't think anything could have stopped it. I'd say we've done the impossible. It was just wonderful, that's <laughs> all. So.